What is up everybody for today's game? I'm going to be playing as the newest champion to League of Legends as of patch 6.16 Kled versus uh, Nautilus I think Okay, so yeah, Kled came out today and honestly I did know what he looked like and everything until today But I never looked into what he actually did All I knew was that he has like this little mount thing like an animal that he always rides on and uh, Apparently he gets off of it sometimes and sometimes he's on it and depending on if he's off it or on his mount uh, he can like his spells are different or in some cases like when he's off the mount he actually only has what <laughs> wait did, did my character you swear did I hear a bleep or was that like from some other source oh my god well anyways what I wanted to say about this character though is that he has like the greatest voice in League of Legends ever like I know some people get annoyed by like the hillbilly like voice, but dude, I, I freaking love it. It's just, oh man, it's so good. <laughs> Anyways, that was a really, really unexpected intro. I, I just want to stay quiet whenever he speaks because I actually want to hear what he has to say. But anyways, this is going to be a very interesting experience because as I was ex describing him, you can, you can guess, right? Like, I don't actually have that much of... Uh, I don't actually have that much knowledge about how this guy works. Uh, I do know that his Q kind of works like um, like a trash hook that doesn't stun. And his W is basically... Oh, it's just a passive. I thought it was an active. Uh, his W is... Uh, what's it called? Um, it's an attack speed steroid that goes on cooldown after you spend it. Which is basically after 4 auto attacks. Yeah, that's what it says. 4 attacks. Uh, or 4 seconds. Wow, okay, I, the W works a little bit different than I thought it would. Uh, and then his E spell, which is called Jousting, basically you can jump around. If Jousting hits an enemy champion or epic monster, Kled gains 50% movement speed for one second, and can... Oh, so this is ba basically Renekton's E on steroids. Okay, that's good to know. Um, and then, of course, Kled's ultimate is a... Um, it's a it's a Scion ultimate with... Um, it's a Scion ultimate with a huge Galio E around him, so... Uh, I'm really curious to see how, like, you know, this champion works out. Uh, I do have a feeling he's going to be strong, but I, I don't really know until I actually, you know, get to try it out, which I'm doing right here. Ooh. Oh, wait, I'm supposed to stand uh, stand next to Nautilus until, like, uh, a few seconds passes, and then, like, the Q deals damage, apparently. And it deals decent damage, from what I hear. Wow, dude. Split is awesome. Anyways, so as you can see, this huge bar that I have of health, that's my my mount's health bar. And uh, I think after a while, like if you if you take too much damage, your mount just escapes from you. And you gotta get it back somehow. Wait, hang on. Get this thing on him. Oh, come on, let's just hit him. Holy damage! Oh, that was a lot of damage. I did not expect that much damage. Okay, I like understand that Nolis doesn't have like any armor yet. But that was a lot of damage. Okay, like that was sick. Oh, come on. I don't know if like if you're being on Kled, like if it's like, uh, I mean being on the mount, if it gives you like a uh, movement speed boost, because I don't really feel particularly fast right now. Plus ability change, he gains, oh, he becomes faster when he's off the mount. What? Then what's the point of being on the mount if you're just going to be slower? <laughs> like I understand you get like all these abilities, but... Oh, nice. First blood bottling, though. I swear to God, like, Kled swore, like, uh, in the very beginning of the game, and, like, it, the game bleeped out the swearing. That's, that was, that really took me off guard, man. That was, that was like, <laughs> oh, my God, that was amazing. Oh, man, I shouldn't be bothering to hit, like, long-range Qs if I'm not going to, like, dash to him. And that wouldn't be worth dashing to because of the fact that uh, the tower is there. So being under tower is actually really bad. Starting to learn. Starting to see how the strategy here. Anyways, it's really weird to get used to like this new health bar. Uh, I look at my health and I keep thinking I'm really low health, but in fact it's just the mount's health is like differently colored, so you can tell easier like what is your true health. Still, it's very like uh, it's very confusing. Oh, I got him! Oh, hang on, is this good? Holy crap! I think I, I actually lost that. <laughs> Okay, my, my mount is getting pretty low though. I gotta be careful here. Um, maybe I can ask for help from the... From the... Vi? 
Oh, come on. How is that not a lasted? Wait, what is the weapon that I have? It's like a little poleaxe, right? Or what is that? Yeah, it's a poleaxe. Okay. I actually tried to hit a minion with the key there. Wait, how fast is my mount's health regen? It was like really low He's not too long ago. Um, I'm gonna ping the top lane is missing because he is. Mm -hmm. Oh! Oh no! Oh my god, I missed Siege Minion there for free. Nice, this guy is doing some really good work while I'm tr trying to figure this champion out. Okay, that's good. So it's not like there's a lot of expectations on me to carry here. Still though, it would be nice to figure this champion out completely by the time like team fights start. Okay, I'm gonna keep maxing out Q. I'm really not sure if maxing out Q is the most ideal thing. Wow, okay, so that's how the attack speed story works. When it's up, you actually have like really fast auto attacks. When it's down, it's like you have normal speed auto attacks. Okay. Oh wait, the fourth hit deals bonus physical damage equal to 20 plus. 4% of... Whoa, that's almost 5%. Right? Or am I seeing it wrong? Yeah. Wow, that must mean the AD ratio on this champion is really strong. Holy. So it's basically like a super powered Gnar, except that you're melee. Right? Yeah, I guess that's the closest thing I could like compare it to. On a champion like this, it would make more sense to build Last Whisper as well. Although I have a feeling he would be Black Cleaver more because of the whole like health stacking thing. Uh, apparently the mount gains like, what was it? Oh, hang on, I can't read. Oh, here's the Vi. Do we want to do something here? Oh, Vi's not interested. Screw her. At least I had some fun. <laughs> okay, that really didn't give me any favors. Oh! Hang on. Wait, wait, what just happened? Oh, I got off my mount. Oh, man. I don't think I could have done much more there. So anyways, when you jump off your mount, uh, as you can see, you get really low health. Um, but apparently you build up courage for like your mount to come back every time you last it or... Whoa! Every time you last it or you use your Q on champions. So like this. Yeah, there we go. Look at that. So basically, your Q, when you're unmounted, is exactly like Graves Q. Uh, except that it also gives you a dash backwards, kind of like Gra Graves Ultimate, right? So like it's a mix between Graves Q and Graves Ults in the way that it gives you uh, some mobility and it also gives you some burst. But more importantly, the more bullets that hit on your unmounted Q, uh, it builds the courage for hit for Kled's mount to come back even faster. So if you hit all of your bullets with your Q, which means that you have to be pretty much in melee range, your mount can comes back like immediately so that that was like one of the things I learned uh should I just go for this I have a feeling Fage is way more useful than like he's going for straight for AD but yeah black cleaver first definitely does seem like the, the idea here so not no TP that's actually pretty strong I think I may have used my ultimate a little bit badly there I probably should have saved it eh. It's just that Vi really didn't want to commit. It's, it's really strange. She, like she waited for so long and then Kaza came around. Maybe she didn't have like the opportunity to do it, but I felt like she had it for a really long time. There's so I don't know. Oh, what is this? They ca catch out the Sona? Is this really a catch? Yes, it is. Nice. I'm gonna ping that uh, top lane is missing though, even though I don't really think you know Nautilus can do anything because he doesn't have his TP up anyway. So wait, does the Q hit through menus? Oh my god, it does. Okay, so Kled is gonna actually be really strong in lane. If that, I thought you you did get blocked. Okay, let's just walk up to him like this. Just auto attack him. Just... No! <laughs> oh my god, I hate Talia. Ah, oh, just kidding. I love you. Nice. All right, this Q is actually really beastly. Holy crap! The fact that you can shoot it through minions, like. It just gives a different perspective to this champion all of a sudden. I was holding back on it because I thought, you know, maybe, maybe like the, the minions would, like if it goes through a minion, it doesn't like attach to the champion or whatever, because usually spells work like that these days. But no, it does actually give you like full everything. So now here's the thing, right? Do I go for W max second or do I go for the E second? I think W. Yeah, I think you gain way more from W. Let's just go for that. Okay. Uh, let's get the Caulfield's Warhammer. 
Wait, wait. First, I want to check something. This has a 12.5 second cooldown. If I get CDR, does it go down? Oh my god. This does scale on CDR. I didn't think it would because it's a passive, right? Usually passives have like their own separate thing. Whoa, what just happened here, guys? Come on. Wait. Oh, my ultimate doesn't have enough range for this. Wait, wait. Wait, this could be totally like experimental and fun here. Let's do it. Oh! Oh, here we go! No! No, wait! Aw, oh, come on. Really? That Morty guy is so boring, dude. Oh! No, come on. Tali just goes, okay, what the fuck. I don't even want to go through the jungle here because I have a feeling like Kaz is going to be around. Oh! Oh, they got a red buff. I'm, I'm going to run. Okay, so that's red buff down from uh, our camp. I hope Vi realizes that. It couldn't be helped, you know? Vi just randomly died in middle, so yeah. It was a given at that point. Let's get going. Oh, that was really bad. I don't even know why I'm trying to shoot skill shots as if the minions would block the Q. Because they don't. Uh, come on. Mmm, Jankus. Oh, come on. You still auto attack him. Oh, come on. Where's the Vi? Okay, Vi probably. Oh? Okay, there's a pink right there. Oh my god, she's so dead. Wow. Okay, well. Not much that can be done about that now. I'm gonna get the hell back though because uh, Cossacks is looking pretty strong. Uh, should I go back now? Or should you stay under turret? No, 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 hang on. Yeah. Get that last hit with the Q. Oh, wait. I don't run on mana? Oh, that's awesome. I didn't even think about that fact. Oh. So toppling is missing. Nice. Bottling got a kill at least. Looking kind of bad for my team actually. Should probably look into doing a gank with Talbert soon if it's gonna stay like this. No. Okay. Ah, oh, come on. Okay, I'm gonna ping the top lane. Is missing. Let's put a ward up here. I mean, so far I'm not actually that uncomfortable with this champion. I, it almost feels like I know this champion like really well already. I might be wrong. I might be playing him completely wrong here. But usually when a new champion comes out, I feel like really uncomfortable with the champion until like two or three games. Like Jin took me like not a very long time, but it took me like ten games until I was like, wait a minute, I kind of like this champion. But this guy is like, wow, he's like pretty straightforward. What you do and what you're like, how you're like supposed to win or whatever, like your lane. You basically just hit them over and over with your Q, and uh, wait for that maximum damages. Look at that. Hmm. Come on, let's fight then. Oh wait, what the hell? Come on W. There we go. Get the Oh! Sick? Sick? What's ultimate too? <laughs> that close range ultimate. That overkill. Oh. Oh. Come on guys. What is this? I'm, I'm just gonna stay top lane until I can get uh, my black cleaver. Cause once I get the black cleaver, I'm pretty sure Nullis is like 100% like losing this lane. Wow, and the Q can also be used as wave clear? This champion might have like a uh, mid lane potential. I might be wrong, but. It deals 150% damage to minions pass through! 150%, so it deals even more! Hmm. Could he be an 80 caster for middle? I'm not sure, I'm not sure. Uh, I'm getting the ideas here though, like I'm getting all. Uh, Getting all excited about this champion. Wow. Yeah, he was not getting away from that. <laughs> He's being so abused. Oh, this is so sad. Hang on. Do you I'm here, man. Help Billy Yordle. Oh come on. I'm I'm not gonna mess with these people, man. I, I need to use to return to my lane at this point. Like Vice that is that would be like a four versus three at best almost. Okay, let's go back to top lane. Let's see if we can do something with this. Because uh, right now, it seems like my only success is to simply stay top lane and, you know, kill this Nullis over and over. So right now, like, other lanes just seem a little bit hard to help right now. No Nullis here? Nope. I do have a feeling I'm going to have a way easier time now that I have the Black Cleaver doll. Yeah, Nullis got, like, a Ninja Tabby, so that's why he got... Oh, no. 
No, I was getting his revenge. Oh! Oh, rip. Not no F. Okay, well, I couldn't help there fast enough. Wow, that sucks. But I didn't even know that he was gone, so... Yeah. Oh, no, the team is losing slowly. Vice is tilted. Oh, oh, no, the hook. It is a much shorter hook than Tresh's hook, though. Wow, the fact that the, the passive on the W scales with cooldown is pretty insane. I didn't think it did. Let's go. Holy, do you see this damage, though? Okay, I'm gonna back up before... Wow, before he ults me? Okay, he ults me outside of the turret, that's fine. And his ult? Oh no! What am I doing with my life? Please flash out! Okay, okay, okay. Am I gonna and I'm gonna be fine? <laughs> that was crazy. Please, please, please. Pray for Cossacks to not be around. Pray for Cossacks to not be around. Pray for him to not be around. Oh my god, I hate you Sona. Okay, I'm gonna die anyway, so I'm just gonna go all in. Holy! I almost killed her, but that was close. That was close. <laughs> At least I only died to the support, right? Oh, I should probably fix this. Wow, Kha'Zix is just farming the Vi at this point. This is so not good for us. I'm not even sure I can do anything about that at this point. Like, it's a little bit too late <laughs> to even try, maybe. Um, so, Black Cleaver into what would I do here? I actually think this guy could be good for, like, Jomo's into Black Cleaver build, right? Like, that's the kind of thing people were doing. But Black Cleaver, if you're the one that builds Black Cleaver first, then you would do something like... Mm, I'm thinking Darius, so like something like Sterox Gage, I guess, yeah. Okay, what's going on here? Man, I got my 1v1 kill against Nullis under the turret. Uh, I'm kind of thirsty, I want to get some more kills now. I'm used 3 one, one like this game is technically still going alright for me. Uh, let's go, let's go. Oh! Hang on, hang on, hang on. Oh, oh, hang on. Wow, I got completely wasted. Oh my god. Okay, hang on. Okay, here we go. Oh, what? The hook missed? Oh, this is so not good anymore. Oh no. Oh no, I've been baited. No. But like, the whole thing went like... Blitzcrank grabbed the Lucian. I was trying to kind of join in there, and it was like I kind of stayed over this wall for too long. I thought it was fight here, and then they were moving here. It was just really bad. I couldn't help out in time. If I could help out sooner, then maybe Bl Blitzcrank wouldn't have died. But I didn't expect the Sona to be fair. Okay, let's get the blue trinket. And <laughs> oh my god, what is this? Is by building damage? Oh my god, she is. You know, it's already bad enough when you're dying like over and over, but when you insist on building more damage, that's when, you know, something is not right. Definitely. Uh, sell the half pot, start building towards the little thing, Jarum's Fist. Yes, that's what it's called. Mugamugamumon, I got the Jarum's Fist, great. Alright, do I teleport top lane? Do I s just split push bottle lane while I have my teleport up? My ultimate is up now. Jesus Christ, this has got a pretty long cooldown though. Comparing to some of the champions that I've been playing recently, like Rumble and stuff. Yeah, but I can understand. It's like a almost half global, a half map global, right? It's pretty insane. Oh, come on. Okay, but anyway, so split pushing should be pretty strong on this guy too. I mean, besides having like really good like dueling ability or capacity, uh, your Q does push out the waves pretty effectively. So, yeah. The fact that this champion is mana-less is what kind of bothers me a little bit. Like, you run on zero resources, like your Q, W, E, ultimate, no cost, no cost, everywhere. Oh man, is this good? Oh my god. Ah, oh, no assist for me. Wow, this one just burst out this. Oh, here we go. Oh no, that was a little bit too soon, maybe? Aw, oh, hey, I got an assist for the freaking AoE movement speed. The Galio thing. Alright, let's put another point to the W. Let's go ham at it. Are we doing this or not? Oh, I see. Vice like really scared of the Kazakhs. No, good! Oh my god, are you kidding me right now? Okay. No way! Kazakhs is gonna live that? Uh... 
I hate this game. <laughs> I'm just gonna leave because Talia is 100% dead and I'm not gonna be able to do anything. Oh my god, please, why? Wait, can I jump to minions? Oh, I don't even need a target to jump to, okay. And here's Lucian. Can I 1v1 him? Oh! Oh my god, dude. Am I gonna get away? No! Lucian is bullshit. Okay, whatever. Maybe you do need Jomo's Ghost Blade on this character. I feel like I'm dealing decent damage, but it could be like so much better. Hmm. Huh. Yeah, I think Jomo's Ghost Blade would be like really amazing with W. Maybe it would even make it so that W maxing first is better than Q. But, oh no, this is looking over pocket pistol. Each pal that hits an enemy champion restores 5% of Skarl's Courage. Oh. Oh, I didn't even realize here in the bottom you could actually see both of the health bars. Okay. That's nice. So total health bar would be like 2,500. Neat. Okay, let's go to middle. Mm, or? Wow. My, my teleport right now though is being completely useless. Like I haven't used it for anything good. So maybe going to ignite this game would have been like way better for me as a playstyle. Or as a like, you know, a more carry style. Approach. Come on, bye. Are you waiting for next year? I understand she's afraid of the Oh wait, that's right, she's she's glass cannon. She's not tanky at all! What the Oh my god, I can't jump over walls with his E? That's terrible. <laughs> Vi's like surrender voting now. Come on, dude. This is not what we need in our life. Uh, I'm just gonna go back to base and heal up a little bit because yeah, as you saw there, Kazuki just popped out. If I was there, I would have been do dove on. Uh, let's get this. Let's get a long sword again. I have a feeling I'm gonna regret the Stairs Gauge, but without the Stairs Gauge, I'm probably like dead to Kazuki. So yeah. Come on, let's can get a sick hook or something. I really like this guy's auto attack animation. It's like he stabs it on the ground. Like you can clearly tell that he's like hitting from like a, a higher position. Oh my god. Hang on. Oh my god, I missed that. Okay, this is like not good anymore. Where's where's our to carry? Oh I got him! No! Okay, let's just get this guy to Okay, ultimate him as well. No! That was a little bit too wide. Oh my god, how did I get that much movement speed? I'm just gonna let like Talia deal with that and I'll just go back to Basin! Wow. Yeah, that Kha'Zix needed to die. Otherwise he's just gonna kill every one of us. That's not cool. Uh, 1150. Mm, let's go back to base. Heal up. Get our mount immediately back. Uh, yeah, I think that's enough. And while I was gone, people were dying. Unfortunate. Rylice, Leandris, Mordekaiser. Wow, hang on. Can I do something here? Oh my god, are you kidding me right now? Wow, dude, Kha'Zix is so fed. Wait, oh my god, wait, I wasn't even on my mount. I realized my key was like so different there. Man. Alright, let me just wait here. Oh my god, the Nautilus. The freaking Nautilus that got Shrek in the early game. Come on, man. This is not fair. It's pretty much all. Wow, all Cossacks and Lucian. I didn't even realize Lucian was 10 kills in. That's actually pretty ridiculous. Yeah. Mm. I do like this champion. But I do kind of get this feeling that when you fall behind on this champion, you kind of end up being useless because you're going to be either really squishy or deal no damage. So, yeah. Hang on. Oh look, it's Sona. Turn around. Turn around and get free Sona. Get the free Sona. Get the free Sona. Get the free Sona. Get the free Sona. Why is nobody going for the Sona, man? If she's over this wall. Oh my god, she was. I hate my team. Wait, wait. If I ult? Oh, if I ult. Oh. Oh, she misses. Oh, this is so sick. Are you kidding me right now? Where are you going, Sona? Get the hell back here. <laughs> oh my god, that was so fun, dude. It's totally worth it. Wait, did we use ace them? Holy shit, we did. Okay, let's let's go back to pushing the lane. Hit Q here. Mm. Oh, come on. I missed the one in the back. Dude, this champion is hilarious. 
Awesome. Alright. This. Let's get this. Oh, okay. Oh, wow. My auto attack was actually really slow there. I was worried I was gonna miss. Okay. Okay. Let's get this thing then? Or should I get something else? Uh, no, 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 no. I need to focus on what's good. So, this thing. And I guess I'm just gonna go for Guardian Angel at this point. Like, I don't think it's very wise to, like, start building damage when uh, there is someone, like, causes an illusion on the enemy team. I just need to build for survivability. Like, I already deal decent damage, I feel. Like, Black Clover is pretty much all I need to actually do damage, but to deal, like, really, really strong damage, like, burst potential damage, I probably would need something like Doom's Ghost Blade, I think. Yeah. I really do think the W on this character might be a little bit too strong. I could be wrong, but I doubt it. Like I can already see like Blair Rune King to get it with Jumbo's Ghost Blade, to get it with Black Cleaver and you're like it's gonna destroy everything. But for now I'm just gonna play it safe. Simply because of the fact that you know, uh Vi didn't really go tanky until now. Fortunately she did. Um Guess she is one of the Black Cleaver first, but Black Cleaver doesn't really give you that much health these days. It gives you like what, 300 health? That's not a lot. Whoa, what's going on here? No, we gotta be. Uh, put a blue trinket here. Man, I wish I could do something to someone like Kha'Zix, but he would just jump away the moment I dash on him. So it's kind of not useless, but it's kind of bad. Mm. Oh, wow! Someone with the misses. Oh, come on, they got the Baron. This sucks. We're gonna have a slow game again. Uh, let's see here. Let's just go back to base. And let's just get rid of minions. Oh, come on! Jesus Christ. Last hitting sure is hard in this character. <laughs> I mean, if I used my Q more early on, I probably could have gotten some pretty sick last hits. So he does have increased damage against minions, so yeah. Oh, oh, that was so close though. I really wonder how this spell works though. Can I just press wherever and like it'll like I'll automatically walk towards the person? Because from what I hear, you can't actually like uh, hit a wall like you can on Cyan. Because you, you don't actually like remotely control like where when you land and stuff like that. I don't think you can cancel your ultimate at least. Like you really stay straight to the name charge. Okay, do it. Oh, I'm going in here. I think. Ah, oh, there was nothing. Okay. Wow, my Q misses. This is kind of sad. Okay, that was a bit of a waste of an ultimate. Whoa. Okay. Okay, it will survive at least. Whoa, Talia taking all the damage here. Oh no, it's all going downhill from here. Wait, wait, if he jumps me. Oh. Wow. This is actually a really hard game. Not sure if it's even winnable at this point. Okay, we really, really, really need to like start dealing with the minions. The Baron buff is ridiculous though. Look, this freaking minion won't die. Come on, here we go. Wow, Sona can really just get away doing stuff like that. Come on. Mm. Okay, you know what? This is not worth it. Oh, Q <laughs> all the way back into the base to get my freaking thing back. Oh. Come on! Are you kidding me? Oh my god! <laughs> Got kicked off my mount. Oh well. Anyways, that was my collect gameplay. For the first time, I actually didn't think it was that bad. I think now I would probably, if I did a second game, I would do a little bit better. But I do feel like maybe it was a little bit cursed this game, you know, like that Cosmos just got ridiculously fed to the point that, you know, none of my squishes really could do much against that. And I guess it's kind of true that Kled doesn't actually have that much crowd control to be dealing with stuff like that. Like you have your ultimate, but it only really hits one person unless everyone's clumped up on that one person that it like auto tracks to. Um, yeah, I don't know, man. I think, I do think this champion is good. I'm, I'm just not sure like where he's the most useful. Like, maybe he's supposed to be a jungler? I'm not sure. Maybe that's the reason why his Q deals so much more damage to, like, minions. Maybe. I'm not sure. But he's definitely fun. And I will I will play him some more after this game. Um, maybe not today, but, you know, in, in the immediate future. So, yeah, okay, let's look at damage. 12k, 10k, 7 Wow, I dealt the most aside from Talia. 
And I was building like almost full tanky. If I had Jumo's Ghostly, I swear to God, this number probably would have been doubled. Uh, let's look at damage dealt to champions. Let's look at damage taken. Wow. Even though I had like such a high damage count, uh, I was actually absorbing quite a lot of damage too. And I didn't die anywhere near as much as Devi, who had like more, slightly more damage taken than me. Yeah, Clad is definitely a really good uh, damage soaking champion. Really, really, I, I'm really interested in his design. Like, it's really cool and fun. Um, yeah, okay, so nothing really, like, unexpected here. Everything seems to be in order. It's a little bit shame of how things snowball to the enemy team, but, you know, that's sometimes part of the game. So, anyways, thank you guys for watching. This has been me, Steve Rockstars, and hopefully I'll see you guys for next time.